I just don't want to do it. <laughs> oh, hi. It's me. I'm back. Today, I'm going to go over my goals for the month of May. I'm going to include a screenshot of the tracker that I use, which I've found really, really helpful, especially for my daily habits and the link to the Etsy shop that I bought that from. Seriously, a game changer. And then I'll go through my goals and habits that I've set for myself. So let's get into it. First of all, May is my birthday month which is exciting. My age is creeping up, so that's not as exciting, but still gonna be a really fun month. I get to celebrate with my boyfriend and my friends, and of course my family, so that'll be good. But I also have a really important presentation right around my birthday, so I'm gonna actually be out of state. And then I have another really important presentation about two weeks after that. So I'm trying to keep my goals a little bit more laid back this month. Just being mindful of these presentations, the stress and excitement leading up to them, and then also just not wanting to wear myself out and or potentially affect my mental health, trying to keep up on these lofty goals that I've set for myself while also trying to perform really well in these presentations that benefit the company that I work for greatly. This month is gonna be pretty exciting and pretty stressful, but rewarding nonetheless. So uh, let's get into my goals. So the tracker that I use has been really helpful. It has a entry page where you set your year goals for each category. And then what I actually did is I duplicate that page with slight modifications for each month. And so I'm able to take a look at what my year financial goals are and then set monthly financial goals in this little tracker. And then additionally, it has a daily habit tracker sheet where I enter every single task that I wanna do for the day. Maybe not every single task, but I set a morning routine, a night routine, and then there's a few tasks that I wanna complete sometime during the day. And then that's really nice to check two or three times a day and check off everything that I've done. And or when I wake up in the morning, I can open up the Google Sheet and say, oh, yep, that's right, I need to do this. And I've set a really thoughtful process to flow through in the morning. And I'm hoping that that will help me stick to this morning routine that I have set for myself and everything in it is intentional and there for a reason. I've sprinkled in some normal things where it's like, of course I'm gonna shower, but I put it on the list so that it feels good to check it off. And then I put in some of my goals such as get to work by 8.15. That's the last of my morning routine tasks or drink my greens because I've started drinking greens and I noticed a huge improvement in how I felt. And so um, that's sprinkled in there as well. But without further ado, let's get into the goals. So financial goals, again, I'm keeping it pretty simple. My goals for May are to pay off one of my credit cards. I've been paying towards them each month and one of them is close enough that I think I'll be able to pay it off this month. It's gonna be a little bit of a stretch, but I'm gonna try and do that the best that I can. Hi. Then I've got a goal to start setting half of my monthly expenses into a separate account and setting all of my direct draws to come from that account. Just because it gets a little muddy with, I go out to dinner with my friend and I'm spending this much and then I have this bill. And I just wanna make sure that all of that money is set aside so I don't accidentally overspend when I'm out at dinner. I know exactly how much I have and I'm notorious for if I have money in my account, I will spend it. So this will help kind of differentiate that for me. Then my last financial goal for May is to just continue to track my expenses, where my money is going and see where I can cut out some spending and save money. Fast food I know is still a little bit of a problem for me. Um, coffee especially, I've been stopping at the coffee stand a lot and I need to just make my own coffee for work. But being able to see that in an Excel doc and calculate the total is just so helpful and really makes me cringe at how much money I spend on coffee and a few other things. So that'll help me cut unnecessary spending so that I can be able to put more money in savings and then also pay off my cards a little bit more. So the second category that I have is career and personal development. The two goals that I set for that for this month is to finish reading E-Myth and Atomic Habits, which I put as one item just because I'm halfway through bowl. And then the second one is to take two Skillshare classes on whatever topic I decide. 
just something that'll better me personally or professionally. The next category is health and wellness. So my first goal is to drink my greens every morning. I've started taking Huel greens. Honestly, at first I really hated it just because of the texture and I'm a huge texture person. Um, it's kind of gritty and so after a few swallows, I would kind of feel the tickle in my throat and just not be able to do it. And then the taste, I just didn't love. After three or four days, I really started to feel just generally better, more alert, less groggy, especially after lunch. Can you get down? crazy trying to climb up the wall but yeah i just felt generally better and i really see the benefit in taking those my next goal is to drink 64 ounces of water every day i find that when i do have water i feel a lot better of course but i tend to go on these kicks where i will drink anything but water whether that's coffee soda or juice or white claws whatever it is and then i just regret it so my goal is to ensure that i drink 64 ounces of water every day and i will do that by using the 64 ounce tumbler that i have off of amazon and the brita water bottle which will definitely come in handy when i'm in indiana where the tds of the water is so high that it just doesn't taste good and maybe i'm being picky it's definitely like a first world problem it's drinkable water but i'm spoiled i guess my third goal for the health and wellness category is to plan my meals out and eat healthier. And I kind of do this in spurts and then I'll get lazy and start eating fast food again. So I'm gonna go and find a bunch of recipes that are moderately easy and that I know that I'll stick to and then plan out when I'll make each so that I have a schedule. I don't have to go in and find a recipe and think about it because that's what really kind of sets me back is Wednesday I'm supposed to go grocery shopping and I have thought about what I'm gonna make yet and I end up getting fast food and then coming home and then being like oh well I already had fast food tonight so I'll go grocery shopping tomorrow and I'll, I'll figure out what I'm gonna make tomorrow and then tomorrow comes and I go get fast food and I'm like well I'll just do it tomorrow and it just never happens so I'm gonna be a lot better about keeping essentially like an itinerary of the meals that I'm gonna have so that I will hopefully stick to those more not hopefully I will I will or else. The next goal I originally set as working out for 30 minutes each day, whether that's a brisk walk or hit workout or you know going to the gym, running on the treadmill, whatever it is, um, just getting some sort of exercise in for 30 minutes, something cardiovascular, keep my heart healthy. But with me being in Indiana, I don't know how realistic that is. I'm gonna be there for about a week. And I know that if I miss one or two days, I tend to be like, oh shoot, well, there's always next month. I have been a lot better at not thinking that way. I have a, a whiteboard up there that says progress, not perfection to remind myself it's okay if I don't do it one day. That doesn't mean I have to scrap the entire plan. I can still stay on the wagon, but I don't want to set myself up for that type of stress and failure almost. I'm kind of asking to fail at that point because while I'm in Indiana, I'm going to be working long days where I'm at the office for the beginning of the day and then we come back and we're still brainstorming and working and being productive. And so I don't want to add this additional amount of time commitment to where it affects my sleep being I'm in a different time zone and it's just, I just don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to put that stress on myself. So I've decided instead that my goal will be to close my exercise rings on my watch. So even if it's not 30 minutes of dedicated cardio or whatever that be, it's still 30 minutes of higher level exercise in spurts throughout the day at least. And then my last health and wellness goal is to stick to my morning, day, and night routines, which I will show you in this habit tracker. All right, moving on to my social goals. If you don't know, I used to be very, very shy to the point that I got sent to the principal's office on the first day of fourth grade because I was too shy to tell my teacher my name when she asked and she thought I was just being a bad kid. I've come a long way, but I'm still pretty socially anxious and I'm trying to get better about that. So I have two goals for this month. One is when I'm meeting up with someone at a restaurant or somewhere in public, that I walk in first, because usually we'll either walk in together or I'll make them meet me outside if they're inside already. So my goal is to go in first, sit down and just be. 
seems simple. I'm already stressed about it, but it'll be good for me to just be in an environment that's public where people are potentially looking at me and being like, oh, why is she here alone? Which, whatever, no one's probably gonna care anyways, but in my head, I'm like, everyone's gonna think I'm weird for being alone. And I need to get over that. I think that that's the first step. And so that's my first goal. And then my second goal is whenever I'm, say, in an elevator, whether it's in my apartment building or an office building or wherever, or if I'm just waiting for something, maybe I ordered food for pickup and I'm waiting for my meal to be finished and there's other people around, I want to say something. So currently I just kind of smile at them and mouth high, don't even say it. They understand that I'm being polite and I'm acknowledging them, but I don't talk to them. And I kind of want to be not necessarily the incessant person that you don't want to talk to you and they just keep talking, but I want to kind of ease into being put on the spot and like making conversation with people. So those are my two social goals. Next I have creative goals and those are pretty simple. One is to post five YouTube videos because I've kind of dipped my toe in the YouTube pool and I think I like it. So I wanna give it a full try, um, really commit to making content and figuring out if that is something that I really wanna pursue and continue doing. The next is to get back on Instagram, get active again. I used to really enjoy Instagram and I stopped posting when I was in a weird relationship and it caused more problems than it should have. But I'm now in a happy relationship and I just haven't gotten back on Instagram and I really wanna do that. So that's another goal is just to post more content on Instagram whenever I feel inspired. And my third is that my profile pictures are really outdated and I really want to take a new profile picture. Something creative and I don't have a profile picture with braces on and I've had braces for two years next month. That tells you how old my profile pictures are. So that's another goal for myself. All right, and then the last category is just miscellaneous. My first goal is to go on at least one hike. I have a few in mind and of course weather permitting, but I would like to go on at least one hike. My second goal is to get to work by 8.15 every day, except for when I'm in Indiana, because that's probably already gonna happen. I'm probably gonna be there way before, but time zone difference, whatever, you get it. And then the third goal, is to get more comfortable getting my head and ears wet. So like when I'm in the shower, just kind of let the water hit my face. I honestly am terrified of water being in my face and my eyes, especially if I can't see, I kind of start panicking. So like when I'm in the shower, if I get a little bit of water, like running down my, the front of my face and gets in my eyes, I immediately have to wipe it on the towel. And I really want to learn how to swim this year. That's another story <laughs> for another day. But um, I've been scared for so long and I'm tired of it. I want to learn how to swim. So I'm gonna slowly get more comfortable getting water in my face and my ears so that then it's a little less traumatizing when I actually get in the water to try and swim. Those were all of my goals for the month of May. Let me know what your goals are down below. I'm really curious. Um, maybe we can inspire each other. And if you wanna check out the uh, habit tracker that I use, uh, again, the link is down below. Other than that, I hope you have a freaking fantastic rest of your day and I'll talk to you guys later.